Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of Scylla for Developers. I'm Raul Shebri and today we're going to touch on one of the core concepts of Scylla DB, which is consistency level. But in order to understand what consistency level is, let's go back to the general architecture of a Scylla cluster. So we already know that Scylla DB is a distributed NoSQL database which means that your data is going to be in multiple machines. Let's say that you have an insert query. So you want to reply to your server with a positive response. But how many nodes need to acknowledge the insertion of that data in order for your database to um, send a response back to your server is determined by the consistency level. So let's say that you have a consistency level of any. So in this case, any of the nodes can uh, insert and acknowledge the insertion of the data. And at that moment, you're going to send a response back to your server. This is great because you're going to have a very low latency, but the drawback of this is that you're not sure that your data is fully replicated because if some of the nodes are down, then that data is not going to be replicated. And when you're going to look for it, then you might not find it. Another consistency level that we have is a consistency level of all. And that means that you need your data to be replicated in all the replicas, in all the nodes, in order for your, your server to get a response back. This is great if you want to make sure that the data is uh, the same everywhere. But this is not really good practice because of performance, because you need your data to be replicated in all the nodes before sending a response back to your server. So what's the best way to go? For most of the cases, quorum is the way to go. What does quorum mean? It means that you need uh, the majority of the nodes to acknowledge the insertion of the data before sending a response to your server. So let's see in code how that works. All right, so here I have a very simple Python application. And all I'm doing is creating a profile, um, creating a cluster and a session to connect to my database. And also I'm inserting into uh, the to do key space, into the items table, some values, and I'm executing the query. Um, so if I want to use a consistency level in this case, I can do it in two ways. I've first can do it through the profile. Uh, so let me go to the profile here. I can add a consistency level um, and I can add here a consistency level of uh, quorum. And all this means is that I need the majority of my nodes to acknowledge the insertion of the data before sending the response back to my server. And this is uh, quite general. So I'm doing it throughout my entire session. Um, and I'm telling that for every query, I'm going to use Quorum as a default. So uh, this is pretty cool, but let's say that I have a special use cases in my application where I need to have different consistency levels. Um, so in this case, I can do it also per query base. So uh, just let me to put this query into a different line, um, add a comma here. Uh, there you go. And add a consistency level of Okay, um, not quorum in this case, but I'm going to change it to all. Um, and yeah, so I can do that as well. So for all my queries except this one, uh, they're going to be in quorum, but this particular query is going to be uh, is going to have a consistency level of all. And I really highly encourage you to uh, explore the different use cases that could be apl applicable uh, to yours. Uh, we recommend to use quorum. Um, but for some, some specific cases, you can use all or, or any or even one. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot about consistency level. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.